quick follow-up to my video about how to fuel your exercise as a type 2 diabetic today I went on a longer ride of about two plus hours I had five intervals of nine minutes each at uh, just above FTP so five nine minute intervals that were about 102-103 percent um, and then some endurance riding at the end when I got home I washed my hands checked my glucose right away and I was I think a 7.9 and then I waited about a half an hour uh, for my body to just kind of settle down and I was a 4.8 right after so that was great then I just had a handful of nuts and a small apple and that was enough to keep me going for a few hours till dinner so the strategies that I was talking about in terms of how to fuel your exercise are exactly what I used on my workout today. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave that below as well in the comment section. There was something that happened to me on my ride yesterday that I wanted to share with you guys that are watching. A car passed me, left a lot of space. It was a very generous pass. I even gave a wave of thanks. And uh, I was moving pretty quick, almost at the speed limit, uh, slight downhill where I was. And um, as soon as the car passed me and pulled back into the lane, it immediately started braking. And I could kind of assume that it was going to turn right at the road just up ahead. Um, if I had to emergency brake, I'm not sure that I could have braked in time to avoid hitting the car. Uh, it all happened pretty quick. I, I haven't even really paid attention to the video. I could probably sit back, watch it, and analyze whether or not I'd have room to brake. Um, but I just went around the car. And there was another car waiting to turn into the same road from the opposite direction, so the oncoming traffic. I could see that the driver was watching me. I gave a wave to the driver, and I knew that I had a safe movement there because if that driver would have anticipated following the car that passed me to turn into the lane, would have been very dangerous for me to go between them because I would have been uh, hit in between the two cars. So this was at the end of um, a recovery ride. It's very easy to kind of zone out, especially when you're at the end of a ride, you're no longer thinking about numbers and targets and going fast and this and that. And uh, it just shows you that you've always got to be aware. You've always got to be alert. Uh, otherwise, you may not make it home. Till next time, stay safe.